Welcome to Kid Crew. We're reliving our favorite winter moments. Ah! An avalanche! Oh no! Run! Here it comes! Oh my gosh, I'm buried! I need help! 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 He must have heard me! Here he comes to save me in his rescue side by side, but he doesn't know where I am. Look, a mitten! Maybe that will help him find me. Okay, a few. But I don't see any tracks. I need help. This is base. I need the canine. Okay, I'll get the dog. The fire rescue dog is on the way. Here they come. The rescue dog should be able to help find me. Okay, I brought the canine. I found this mitten. Maybe she can pick up the scent. Okay, this is who we're trying to find. She's picking up the scent. Is that the way she went? Let's go. Yeah. The rescue dog is following my scent from the mitten I dropped. Hurry, I'm cold. They are running through the woods. I hope they get to me soon. The rescue dog picked up my scent again. There I am. Good job, good job, you found her. Good job, good job. Can you dig her out? He's got his avalanche rescue shovel. Ah, uh, my hand, my hand's free. Pull me out, pull me out. And heave! <laughs> I'm free! Thank you! Here's how you can play along at home. Hmm. This pillow fort looks like it could cave in. Wow, it's awesome inside. Can I come in? Here comes Dad to take a nap. Wait! Someone's in there! He probably didn't even hear him coming. Oh no, dad's buried. Help, help, help. He's grabbing the rescue dog to find dad in the rubble. <gasps> I think I hear them coming. The dog is searching for dad. <laughs> oh, the pup's on the snow above. Ruff, ruff. I think I found him. Ah, a pup. Ruff, ruff. He's rescuing dad. He found him! Ah, the sunlight! There he is! I'm rescued! Now let's learn how it works! This is how avalanche rescue works! This brooder guy is on a hike! Oh no! Another avalanche! He's completely covered in snow! The authorities get a call that someone is missing, and a team sets out to help! They need to work fast! The team makes a line and then probes the snow to feel for a person. It's precise work as they move section by section. Where is he? This guy hit something with his probe. Then the team digs out the area to investigate. Here they're using specially designed probes, but long sticks can work too. They're using their shovels to dig him out. They found him. Yay. I'm sure he's relieved. Yay! <laughs> but it's not all fun and games in the winter. We got a ton of snow, and now Dad's car is stuck. Ah, I'm stuck. We need to plow out the driveway. The Kid Crew snowplow truck is here to rescue Dad. Wow, it's pushing so much snow with the plow. Oh, good. He's getting right up in front of Dad's car. That's working great. Push the snow to the side of the driveway. Then lift the plow, reverse, and put it back down. The truck is doing great. Now Dad is going to help out with his tractor. But it's covered in snow, so he needs some help getting it ready. I can get the snow off the plow. Start it up. Raise the plow. A little tricky maneuvering to get going. And we're ready to plow. Wow, it can push so much, so fast. Okay, the driveway's done. Now we need to clear the front walkway. But wait, where's that toy truck going? He's driving down the walk? He's going too fast for that upcoming curve. 
Oh no, he crashed! And now he's stuck in the deep snow! Help! Help! We're going to have to rescue the driver and clear out the walk with this toy snowplow. First, let's load up the hopper with salt. Two scoops should do it. You're all loaded up. Oh, thank you. Let's get to work. Put down the plow and start clearing. Wow, he's doing a great job on the walkway. Let's start spreading salt too. The wheel on the back flings the salt to melt the ice. Now we're getting close to the wreck. Clear around the truck. Thank you, but I think I might be hurt. Here comes an ambulance on the path the plow just made. It's racing to the scene. Get the stretcher out of the back. Rescue the motorist. And take him to the hospital. Now here comes the tow truck. Good thing it has huge tires. Flip over the crash truck. Then hitch it up and tow it away. Now with the trucks out of the way, they can finally clear the sidewalk. Wait, what's he doing with the leaf blower? Oh, he's gonna use it to clear the porch. That's a great idea. It's pushing the snow away. That's doing a great job. Now let's learn how it works. This is how you can make snow at home. We're going to make some snow to play with inside. First, get ice from your refrigerator. Then, put it in a blender and put on the lid. Now, I'm gonna push the button. Okay, let me plug it in. And run away when I push it. The blender is turning the ice into snow. What does it look like in there? We got a jar of snow. Then dump it out so you can play with it. I mean, that's the right look. You don't have to miss out on winter fun, even if you live in an area without snow. Do you see the real snowplow over there working? He's doing the same things as you. More snow means more sledding. Okay, are you gonna hold on tight? Okay, you ready? What happened over here? The train got used and look. Oh, wow. Now Christmas is coming and we have a lot of decorating to do. And he's bringing a backhoe? Hmm. This is gonna be a muddy job. I'm so glad you're here to help me decorate the playhouse. This rain's gonna turn to snow soon, so let's get to work. Let's grab the hammer and put in some nails to hang the garland. Now grab the garland from the trailer. It has lights, so it's gonna look really fancy at night. Do you like it? Yeah. I just realized we don't have electricity out here. We have to dig a trench. Oh, that's why he has the backhoe. Put down the ramps on the trailer. The ground is really wet. I hope traction isn't a problem. Turn on the ignition and back down the ramps. Whoa, wheelie. It is definitely slick but the backhoe's got this. The seat flips around so he can easily maneuver the bucket. Let's get trenching. The bucket easily plunges into the dirt. Wow, that's trenching great. That's quicker than I could do with a shovel. He's making short work of this job. He's already made a huge trench. Wow, your trench is looking great. Should we start laying the wire? Yeah. Grab the wire off the trailer. Okay, do you want to run the conduit up the trench? Yeah. I'll hold it still up here. Hmm, is that a direct berry extension cord? Great job. That's a little electrical humor for you, but we'll show you the right way later. Time to fill the trench back in with dirt. That's a great job for the front of the backhoe. Push the pile back in. That worked great. Let's do another push. Oh no, the scoop folded under. But he still got it. Now it's time to cut down a Christmas tree. Secure the trailer. And drive down our trail into the woods. 
I hope he'll be able to get back up the hill in these conditions. The temperature is dropping and the snow will start soon. Ooh, this tree looks perfect. Grab the chainsaw. Turn it on. And cut it down. Timber. Let's take it back to the house. Oh no, a huge puddle. Can he get through it? Yes. He's trying to keep up his speed heading up the hill. It's really steep and wet. Oh no, he's stuck. I'm coming to help. You ready? Good thing dad's always available ah. for push. That's a really heavy load. Pull back up to the house and load in the tree. Let's get some ornaments on this tree. It looks great. Finish it off with the bow. Now we're ready for Christmas. Wow, this is looking so festive. Here comes the snow. We finished just in time. It looks amazing at night. And you know what that means the next day? We get to go sledding. Go. Zoom down the hill on the first snow of the year. Now let's learn how it works. This is how you run electrical wires underground. First, you bring in all of your tools and materials. This digger will make a trench. The trench will hold this conduit that will protect the wires. Let's get this semi out of the way and bring in the wires and barriers. Secure your work site. Then start digging. This tanka makes quick work of the job. That looks deep enough. Then glue the conduit together with the right primer and adhesive. This will protect the electrical wire from shovels and animals. Assemble all the pieces like Legos. Now grab the wire and feed it through. Lower the assembly into your trench and start filling it in. Don't forget to call before you dig and pull permits. Here comes the authorities to check out the project. Hi, officer. Everything looks great. Thanks for doing it right. Now finish burying the pipe. It looks great. And now you have electricity to the new house you're building. Lastly, clean up the job site. What's in the mailbox? You think you're gonna get presents in the mailbox? Yeah. Oh, 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 I got the presents. I got the Lego Titanic. The Lego Titanic fits in the mailbox? Yeah. Is that to clean off your sled between runs? You know where that brush was from? That used to be part of the street sweeper brushes. <laughs> it's been a while since you've gotten to eat snow. Daddy, I think it's good. Oh, well, that's a great shot. Yes. I like that. Sure, and then the camera the tree and it cuts. Is it, is this recording? Yeah, it's recording. I need to turn it around. That's good. This has but Christmas is over, and now we have a ton of Christmas cleanup to do. Wait, is that a tractor in the house? How is he gonna use that? Maybe he's gonna clean up all that paper with his loader. Okay, you can put this in the dumpster. Wow, the tractor's doing such a great job cleaning all that wrapping paper up. Our kid crew garbage truck will be able to empty that dumpster. Now can you help me with the lights? What? He's tying the lights to that tractor. And now he's pulling away. Whoa, it's unwrapping the lights. That was so fast. That dog's done. Now let's check if the tree still has water. It does. I have to get my water trail. Wheel it over and hitch it to the tractor. He'll be able to use this to empty the water from the tree's base. It's not every day you see this kind of equipment in the house. Although, it's becoming more of a regular thing for us. 
park next to the tree and put the pump in the base. Then open the water trailer lid, put in the hose, plug in the pump, and turn it on. Great! The water's gushing out! That was easy. Let's get the water trailer out of the way so we can remove the tree. Oh, you almost hit the cabinet, but you stopped just in time. <laughs> okay, can you help me remove this with your tractor? Yes. Let's see if it's strong enough. Back the tractor up to the tree. Strap it on and go. Ah, it's kind of struggling, but it got it. Now it's time to take the tree all the way to the curb. Wow, it's wet and muddy out here. Can the tractor handle it? Yes! Now we're all ready for trash pickup. Now let's drive back inside to finish cleaning up. The tractor is doing great in the slush. Now look at this mess! Do you think we can make a street sweeper out of your tractor? Look! They're attaching the vacuum to the tractor! Oh, this is gonna be great! Turn it on! Wow! It's so powerful! It's doing a great job cleaning up the pine needles. Back up for another pass. Ah, it's not done! Go at it some more! I love the sound of crumbs in a vacuum hose. Now we need to clean up our chicken coop gingerbread house. Bring in the demolition crew with a front end loader, truck, and trailer. Back up and unload. But wait! We need to get the baby chicks out of the way before demolition can continue. Okay! They're safe in the barn. Now let's get to smashing. Now break down the coop. Wow, the front end loader is so strong. Now crush the chunks into smaller pieces. Time to load it all on the trailer. It's full. Put up the ramps. Sweep up the excess. And drive away. Now let's learn how it works. This is how Christmas trees work. Christmas trees are often grown on a farm in long rows. A tree farmer harvests the trees with a saw and a trailer. Then they bring it to a store to sell it. Here comes a family to buy it. They pay the farmer for the tree and then load it onto their car. Then they head home, decorate it, and have a happy Christmas. Honey, do you enjoy playing with your power wheels inside? Yeah. <laughs> Boo! Boo! Our director tells us what to do. I saw it with my fingers. Yes, plus I did turn a garage! That was perfect. That was perfect! Yeah. Because you said open. You want me to redo it? Can you look at the camera? We're losing the talent. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Wait, did this bug ride in on our power wheels? Stink bug, you're not supposed to be in the house. He's trying to eat that cheese it crumb. Yeah, I know. Do you not like the idea of a zoom up of our floor showing cheese it crumbs? <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, this is not working because I don't think I got the bits keep spuzzing out. And this is going to break the bungee cord. I'm sure this is just what you wanted for Christmas, the power wheel in the house. Yeah, that was great. Uh, guys, why is there a power wheel in my house? <laughs> oh, that worked great. Can you put it in reverse and back it up over here? Not too often you drive a power wheel in a house. Oh, that's great. Okay, this will work. 
Thank you. Do you remember when we very first got it, honey? We got this truck when he was one and a half. Right. And I can't believe it. Time has really flown. Now we are playing in the snow with our Power Wheel snowmobile. You don't need a job to do to have fun. We made this from an old ATV that was in the garbage. Let's go down our trail. It's zooming through the snow with skis on the front and tire chains on the back. It maneuvers great. Do you think it can support daddy? It held. Whoa. Let's drive the snowmobile on the frozen stream. It's so smooth. The sunshine has made the top of the ice a little slushy. Steer back onto the snow. Now let's build a luge track for our sleds. First we cut the path. Then built a snow barrier to keep us from hitting the trees. We also lined key places on the track with straw bales. Yes, Let's go! Right turn at the bales. Then a quick left into the woods. Try to keep it on the path. That's the farthest yet! Now with mom. It's nice if you have someone to pull you back up the hill. Another time with dad. Guys, this is like a childhood dream of mine. I've tried this so many times growing up to make a loose track. Sometimes it's fun to just roll down the hill. This snow is perfect to build an igloo out of. We're stacking bricks of snow. The snow is really heavy and wet, so it packs perfectly. When the snow is really fluffy, it doesn't mold as well. Form the arch for the entrance tunnel. We made the bricks by packing snow into these planter boxes that we used as molds. Pack it tight! There's the finished product. It's huge! Let's go inside. It looks so cool. We made a window. Some of the bottom bricks are really dirty. Drive the snowmobile over. And warm up from the ride. Is this your ice home? Time for a snow angel. Wave your arms and legs. It's awesome. Let's build a snowman. Mine's gonna be the bottom. Yours is gonna be the bottom? Okay, keep rolling then. It's getting huge. <laughs> Good job. Uh, it used to be so small. It used to be small, but now it's big. Oh, just like that. Put on the head. And grab some stones for the buttons and eyes. A carrot for the nose. Mama, mm -hmm. I hold the back while you put it in. Are you giving it a chin? No. What are you doing? I'm trying to give it a mouth. Oh, I see. There. It's perfect. Now the other eye. Add some sticks for arms. Wow. 
Look at those arms. He's giving a big hug. Time to warm back up with a blanket and a snack and our cozy slippers. Now let's learn how it works. This is how you build things strong. When building with bricks, make sure they overlap. This provides a strong bond between the bricks. We can demonstrate with Lego. The wall on the left doesn't overlap, but the wall on the right does. Look how much stronger the wall on the right is. You can also make super strong corners by overlapping. Real buildings are built this way. Oh wow! Now there's another blizzard! Do you think we can clear the driveway with our snowplow truck? There it goes! There's a V-plow on the front and tire chains on the back. Look at what it did! Yes! Scraped it! It's doing great! I love the sound of a snowplow. Put it in reverse and back up for another pass. Put it in forward. Look at how much snow it can push. It's so clear behind it. It is doing such a good job. Look at the driveway. Oh, we broke another tire chain. They'll have to fix it. Really snowing fast. Look at how much snow is on the truck all of a sudden. Turn the truck back on to plow more. Look, I can see it under the snow. The lights look so cool. He's checking out the truck and turning the police lights on for safety. Good idea. Back to work. When you plow a driveway, you spend a lot of time in reverse. Even with chains, there's a lot of tire spin. Piles of snow are getting bigger. Steering is hard with the heavy snow and poor traction. Keeping it clean. It's starting to get dark. Do you want me to get you a tool to get the snow off? Okay. He's getting something to get the snow off the tire chains to improve traction. Oh, it's actually just pretty dark. Yeah, it is pretty dark. Time. Oh, that's doing a great job clearing. Good problem solving. It's getting too dark to keep plowing. But not for the kitty. We'll start again in the morning. Now let's do a song. Snow plows on a snowy day, clearing the roads, pushing snow away. They're on trucks and tractors, even on trains, salting the roads, working night and day.
a lot more snow fell overnight. It's beautiful. There's seven inches. I didn't want to park the car in the driveway because I didn't want marks. But that was a bad idea. Oh no! Dad has his hard hat on because there's a lot more broken limbs way up high that could still fall. Clear away the broken branches. Then brush off the car. And shovel it out. Great! He moved it! The antenna got broken though. We'll have to fix it. There's still some dangerous branches way up high, so Dad's clearing the driveway himself. Unfortunately, a lot of our trees were damaged. We have to trim the broken limbs with the chainsaw. Try to be tidy as you work. Our power's also been out for almost a week. Good thing we have a generator, but we need to check the oil. First, we turn off the generator and remove the fuse. Then open the cover Check the oil. It needs some more. Now we can turn it back on. Chores are done. It's time to play. Our stream is frozen. We can't break it with the shovel. What tool do you think we could use that would help? A drill. A drill? Yeah. We want to break through the ice like we're ice fishing. It's working great. Well, it's even hard to see where we did it. Okay. Let's see. Ready? Watch your fingers. Okay. Now the shovel is working. We're gonna make some soup. You're gonna make soup? No soup. Well, it's very refreshing on a cold evening. Here's yeah. some soup. Oh, yum. That's dinner. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> soup. No way. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. It's working great! Almost as good as the snowmobile we made a few weeks ago. It can't be stopped, it just goes and goes. Let's roll down the hill! Okay, oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> Now let's learn how it works. This is how you glue a shark fin antenna back on. First, gather supplies. Paper towels are always a must. Cut the tip off the glue and pierce the inner shield. Load the caulking tool. Squeeze the grip. Bread the glue. Then clean up. Now we had an ice storm. There's a lot of damage, but Dad does like playing with the go-kart in the snow. Oops, too fast. Hey, that's my phone. Let's play with it on our trail. It's so slippery on the snow. Zooming through the cattails.
He's coming up on a wet spot. Oh no, it's not moving. It's really stuck. Sometimes you need to do it by hand. He's coming back to the bridge. Crash! It broke the railing and fell off the side of the bridge. Dad is back on the trail. It's fighting for traction back up the hill. Dad's gonna need a bath. But first, scrape some ice from the walk. The rake doesn't work on the concrete, but it does work on the grass. And the playset. You know, I think it was in better condition when we found it. We'll need to do some pressure washing in the spring. Now let's learn how it works. Do you remember when we found the go-kart? Wait, is that a go-kart? They are so surprised. It's a go-kart. Oh, wow! Look at this! This is awesome! Yeah. It looks like this tree fell on it and it bent the roll cage. That must be why someone left it here. Let's get this tree off. Okay, one, two, three, lift. You're gonna try and start it? Before we start anything, we need to check if there's oil in it. Well, it's got oil. Ah, didn't start. Try a few more times. Should we get your truck and tow it up on the trailer? Here he comes with his trailer. Good maneuvering. Oh, good idea to turn on the police lights. Yeah. Haul the go-kart on the trailer. It's all loaded up. Off he goes to the garage to fix it. It's a heavy load. Take it back off. Now let's figure out why it didn't start. Jack it up. Then drain the old gas to clean the carburetor. Ooh, gas isn't supposed to look like that. Put in fresh. It started. Oh, wow. It's powerful. Back in business. This is how you change the oil of a go-kart. First, put on gloves. Then put down cardboard and the container that you'll use to collect the oil. Clean the engine before taking out the oil plug. Then let the oil drain. See why we needed the cardboard? Be patient to let it all out because there isn't an oil filter on this engine. Then put the plug back in. Fill it back up with a funnel with the oil recommended in the engine's manual. Stop filling when the oil reaches the full mark on the dipstick. Then clean your tools, put them away, and properly dispose of the waste oil. Your hand's gonna get wet, babe. No, it's not because this is a waterproof, Mama. Uh, not forever. Why? Eventually, they'll get wet inside if you dip them in water. In the winter, the leaves are off the trees and the plants are dormant. Now's the perfect time for us to make a path through the woods to go see our friends. There's a ton of work to do to cut the path while we go off-roading. It's getting muddy. We need to cross this stream. It's so wet. It seems like the river is pretty tough going. Maybe we should go the other way. Try crossing here. We'll make a bridge from this scrap wood and a pallet. We're putting sides on the bridge so we don't fall in again. Use the drill to put in the screws. Good job. 
Move the bridge into position. That's gonna be a problem, isn't it? <laughs> ah! We need to cover up that gap. Dub, dub, dub. Dub, dub, dub. The bridge is also really good for throwing sticks off of. Off we go! The trail is getting narrow. We're stuck! Do you think we need to cut some of these plants out of the way? Dad will use his chainsaw to cut away the trees blocking our way. Move the logs. Got it! High five! That was great. Break the path clear. Off we go again. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So, if you move the handlebars, do the wheels not turn right now? Oh, yeah. We'll fix it. Put in a new bolt to replace the broken pin. It's good to put them in that truck. Let's go! <laughs> now let's press on into the muddy cattails. It seems like it's too stiff in the cattails. What should we do? Get the chainsaw again? Well, I think in the lawnmower. Someone needs to clean that shed. Get the lawnmower and fill it up with gas. Use the truck and trailer to bring it down the trail. Wow, the truck fits even when towing a huge trailer. But it's a squeeze. It's working so well in the mud. The chickens want to watch. Start it up. And mow down a path through the cattails. Follow close behind. This is hard work. We're getting close. There's our friend's barn. Is it a homey? Yeah. Maybe move him out of the path so he doesn't get run over. Can we keep him? No. He lives in nature, and he wants to be with his little wormy family. Back with his family. Out of the cattails and back into the woods. It snowed a little bit. This tree is rotten and not safe near our path. Dad needs to cut it down. It's fun to throw pieces of wood into the stream. Dad has used his chainsaw so much that the chain needs tightening. And top up the bar oil. It's so thick because it's cold out. Try not to drip. That's better. Look at Dad step through that rotten log. A final raking to clear the way. Sometimes you find garbage in the woods. Be sure to clean it up. 
One last bit to go. We made it! Success! Now we can drive the whole path without stopping. There's the cattails. Then the bridge. Then more woods. This path is almost an eighth of a mile long. And we're back home. It's going to be a bath night for him. And our ATV too. Now let's learn how it works. This is how leverage works. It's hard to cut the branch with these loppers. Let's extend the arms so we have more leverage. Now it cuts easily. When you apply force to a lever, you make torque. And the longer the lever, the greater the torque. The longer tool lets me loosen this bolt because it has more leverage. Always torque fasteners back to the correct value. Daddy, um, uh -huh. um, we should do a kid cool video with, with having a wheel tractor that, that, that's, powered, that's powered with gasoline. Oh, we should. We have so much to do to get ready for Christmas this year. Can you help us? First, we need to cut down a Christmas tree. This one looks perfect. Get on our helmet and get our toy chainsaw. Start our toy saw up and cut down the tree with our toy chainsaw. Put the tree on the truck. and drive back to the house. Follow our tracks from earlier. Then we'll use this pot to hold it. Gotta water it. We put it in our room. It's a kid crew Christmas. Now we'll put lights on the house. Bring over the lights and the cords. Test the lights before putting them up. Don't go up the ladder without dad. Wrap them around the post. And plug them in. Done. We're missing a timer. That means a trip to Home Depot. Help steer the cart. Plug everything in and turn it on. Now we'll hang our stockings. That's so cozy. Set up the manger. Let's build a gingerbread house. Get out the pieces. Pipe out the icing to use like glue. Can you hold it right there? Keep your finger right there. Yeah. You can eat it too. Mmm. You think it's yummy? Yum. We'll decorate with candy. It's in the wood house and it's done. Yeah. It looks awesome. Yeah. Now there's an inside. We're counting down the days to Christmas with this Lego advent calendar. Open the gift for December 15th. Doing a 
great job putting that together, babe. Aw, cute kitty. Now we'll set up the big tree. Bring in the base. I, I just put it there. So um, why are those pine needles off the tip? Put the tree in the base. We have a train for it, too. <laughs> now let's learn how it works. This is how you wrap a gift. But can you help me keep a surprise? We're getting him this Lego deep space rocket and launch control. Hopefully he'll love it. We first need to close up the box because we purchased it second hand. Now we need wrapping paper, scissors, and tape. First we cut the paper. To make sure you have enough, you may need to rotate the box. Then fold over the paper and tape it. Close up the side. I'm struggling with this tape. Mom is here to save the day. Look how nice it looks and how much less paper I used. Then put it under the tree. We need to shovel. I guess the weed whacker works too. Push it to the side. This makes it look easy, but it's actually really heavy. And brush off the car as you go. Then finish the job. Do you think the chickens like the snow? I guess not. But we still have to get the eggs, even if it's a blizzard. Wow, there's three eggs. Oh no, our tractor is stuck in the snow. Turn on the safety beacon as we go to get the tow truck for a rescue. It's getting dark out. The headlights light the way. Back up. Our friend is here to help us with the winch. Attach it to the tractor. It's unstuck. That was great. Drive the tow truck back to the garage. And the tractor. Dad will use his gas snowblower to clear the driveway so we don't get stuck again. by doing donuts. Okay, steer the other way. Steer right. <laughs> we need to check on our beehives. You'll see more of these in the spring. Dad is putting on entrance reducers for the winter to help keep the bees cozy. Brush the snow off the top. All set. Okay, move away. I love the sound of the snow crunching under my feet in the winter. The stream isn't frozen here. Push in some snow. Okay, let's try to stay out of the water though. It's fun to throw snowballs into the stream. Kitty. Now let's learn how it works. This is how snowblowers work. A snowblower works by pushing snow with paddles very quickly to fling it out of the way. Snow is aimed by rotating the ejection chutes. Hey, 
everybody. So we've gotten the question about how our chickens are doing in the really cold temperatures. So let's go check on them and give them a treat. Here comes Orangey to say hi. We'll see if a chicken's in the nesting box. They might not like this if I open it on them while they're in there. Let's see. Hey girls. Oh, one egg. Here, here, let me give you some treats. Back up, back up. There you guys go. <laughs> Sorry it's so cold. But it's nice and warm in there. The coop is insulated. And the chickens literally are wearing down coats. But it's good to check on our chickens. So it's about zero degrees Fahrenheit now, and last night it was below zero. So we made a couple preparations. That uh, blue waterer is heated so their water doesn't freeze. Then we put up some plastic to try to keep them out of the wind and keep the snow from drifting inside, which doesn't really work that well. And then we put up a window on this side. The whole idea here is to keep drafts out of the coop uh, to keep them warm. We always have to make sure we can get to the coop. Dad is clearing the stairs with a shovel. Once the snow melts a little, the chickens are happy to go out. Who's that for? Are you giving her a humongous stick? Dogs don't eat sticks, do they? But this one does. <laughs> you want it, Megs? Here, enjoy. I know it's hard to find good sticks when it's snowing. Dad always has to tow our vehicles by hand when we film in the winter. Can I show you something, honey? This is another example of why you only eat clean snow where you haven't seen any footprints. That was our canine unit. <laughs> He'd be more in a hurry. Yup, yup, yup. You know, yup. I don't think so. Yup. Sit. 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 Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> Who's in charge of the burrow? Homie. Homie the hedgehog. This is how avalanche rescue works. First, you get a kitty. <laughs> rescue kitty, go. <laughs> Let's not get birds on you, okay, bud? I know, I know you get pet grooming. Oh my gosh, you're strong. Do you not remember that from last time? It's kind of tough to have a camera in front of you. Are you worried your voice is gonna sound different than what it sounds like to you? Aww. Do you want coffee or tea? When we get inside. Always coffee. <laughs> we thought you would like to see how we made the snowmobile. We started building it inside because it's so cold out. You wanna use your tools? Each part sounds different when tapped with the hammer. Take off the front wheel. We'll replace those with the skis. Tap, tap on the tire too. Take the tire chains off the tractor to use on the snowmobile. Now let's make the skis. First, shorten them. Then, drill holes for mounting blocks. Prep the blocks and drill a hole for the axle.
Attach it to the skis. Then put the skis on the snowmobile. All done. It's so pretty this time of year. We made it, it's spring. You've got so many already. It's a season of life for plants and animals. We're setting up a temporary home for baby chickens. Today, you? All your friends are coming. Let's listen to the sounds of spring. Thank you so much for watching Kid Crew. Please like and subscribe.